I'm Nick, the producer of Late Nights and the hero shows at the Famous Food Factory. We can expect some of the world's best circus from uh, Seven Fingers from Montreal, uh, doing a wonderful show called La Vie. We can also expect the uh, dirty, fun, cheeky antics of the Val Val sisters from New York again. Um, who are doing great guns in Perth at the moment and will be here in a couple of weeks. Uh, we can also expect some of Australia's best uh, musicians, um, most loved musicians like Rene Gaia, um, the Black Sorrows, plus uh, swinging, swinging 60s craziness with uh, uh, Clary Brown and the Banging Raquettes. Um, and we can expect comedy, cabaret, Lots of drinking, lots of debauchery, and lots of fun. Well, Club Spiegel uh, is something that was has been instituted in the famous Spiegel tent all over the world. Last year we didn't get around to doing it, but this year it's back with a vengeance. And we have Mark Windmill, who is our uh, artist in residence, um, current reigning king of burlesque, has crowned in Las Vegas last year. Uh, and we also have three house bands, which uh, are a lot more soulful and real than DJs. So anything against DJs, we've got a great DJ to round out the night. Uh, but uh, it's always great having a house band to add that extra bit of spark to the night. Uh, we have the Woohoo Review, Gypsy Thursdays, the Shuffle Club, which is Swing Fridays, and Cooking on Three Burners, which is Soul Funk Saturdays. Um, and we have some very special guests, which I'm not going to mention right now, which uh, will bring a certain element of uh, magic and surprise to this year's Club Spiegel. Any time between 11.30 and 12.30, uh, Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays, all through the season. Uh, when the Peony Pavilion is in from the National Valley of China in the main theatre, we have the Shanghai Club, which is going to be our Chinese-themed Club Spiegel. And we've got uh, lots of crazy things happening, especially um, one of our performers dressed up like a prawn, uh, escaping from a oversized Chinese takeaway box, uh, doing a pole dance on a moving pole with, uh, with the accompaniment of the Monty Python classic, I like Chinese. So um, it should be should be a really great season of late nights here at uh, the famous Spiegel Tent. What does the Spiegel Tent mean to me? Well, my first time going into the famous Spiegel Tent was in Adelaide in uh, 2002, I think it was. And I was just blown away by the surprise and the magic and the history of something while it moves to different geographical spaces all over the world. You know when you've gone into the Spiegel tent and when you return to the Spiegel tent, it's like coming home. It's a, it's a really magical venue and anywhere in the world I go into it, I always feel like I'm at home. What can audiences expect about the famous Spiegel tent? Um, or Spiegel Tent, that's not Spiegel, it's a Spiegel Tent. The famous Spiegel Tent uh, for audiences is something like no other venue they'll ever go into. Um, it's a big tent made of wood, filled with mirrors, operates late night, very intimate, it's only got 320 seats. So every audience member has a very intimate and unique connection with every performance. And it's because of that really intimate connection with performers that um, that they can expect a performance and performances like like nowhere else on earth.